$100 off your shower or bath project. Call West Shore Home now. There are some word combinations that most of us simply try to avoid if we can. Rain on a wedding day, the flu at Christmas, canceled flights, leaving out on vacation, and for the men out there, hearing the words enlarged prostate probably falls into that category. But there is a brand new treatment in Chattanooga that is really helping a lot of patients. And Dr. Jeff Mullins with CHI Memorial Urology Associates is excited to be here. He is the first in the Chattanooga region to offer it. It's called Aqua Ablation. Yes. Good to see you. Likewise. I kind of hated to make a tongue-in-cheek intro to you, but I was afraid if I said, let's talk enlarged prostate, a lot of people would go click. Off. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but this is a very, very real thing, and if I remember correctly from previous conversations we've had, if people think that it only hits men at a certain age, that might not be actually true. This is actually the most common thing that we see in, in the urology clinic. About half of men between 50 and 60 have an enlarged prostate, and that prevalence goes up the older a man gets. So it's just a very common problem. Okay, so what this new aquablation is, is pretty revolutionary, right? Yeah, so basically when men have symptoms of an enlarged prostate and medicines don't work, they move into the surgical space. Past surgical options have either been very invasive, had bad side effects, um, just really haven't done all that well, but now aqua ablation allows us to treat men, treat them quickly, and minimize side effects. Okay, and as I understand it, I mean, this might sound a little bit indelicate, but it's truly customized for each individual patient. That's exactly right. So in the procedure itself, we have an ultrasound and we sort of can look inside the prostate. So it's sort of looking outside, outside in and inside out. And so we can customize and program the ablation for each man's prostate. So each case is just a little bit different. Okay, so is, can you have an enlarged prostate and not have there be a risk or necessarily an association with a cancer? Right, so an enlarged prostate and prostate cancer are totally different things that are typically not related to one another. Is that something that people understand or is that often part of the fear? Part of the fear, so prostate cancer is also very prevalent, but usually prostate cancer is a screen detected test. We get it with PSA, mm -hmm. where BPH or an enlarged prostate is something that a man comes into the clinic with symptoms. Is it one of those things, you know, you'll talk to an ophthalmologist and he or she will say, just deal with it. Once you're in your mid forties, you're gonna have to get those readers. Uh, that things just happen through progression of life. Is this one of those things? Well, most men deal with it for a while, but when you're getting up four times a night, you're getting infections, you're peeing every 20 minutes, mm -hmm. eventually you get sick of dealing with it and we have mm -hmm. some great solutions for those guys. So with this treatment, this aquablation, is it done as an outpatient procedure? So it's basically a 23 hour stay overnight. So the procedure okay. itself takes about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, we keep men in the hospital just to observe them. There is a catheter overnight, but it comes out the next morning typically, okay. um, which is better than prior treatments. Another exciting thing is it's size agnostic, or we can treat very large prostates minimally invasively, which really hasn't been the case in the past. So before this, uh, and if they're not coming to you, the option is true surgery. Depends what size. Um, you know, there was transurethral surgeries, there's robotic surgery, open surgery. Aqua ablation isn't right for every person, but for a lot of people, okay. it can provide re long term durable relief without the side effects, without the invasiveness, getting people fixed and back to normal quickly. And what does that recovery time look like if they can go with this process? I see people back about two weeks after the procedure and most of them are like, I'm fine, I'm doing great. Really? Yeah. So not a long time out of work, mm -hmm. nothing like that. A couple days. Okay, um, life gets back in all of its various ways to normal pretty yeah, quickly? It's kind of like a urologic time machine, right? Okay. Take, a, take a 65 year old man and make him urinate like he did when he was 30. When you do that, a guy's very happy. Right. Okay. Um, when they come to see you, do they have to have a, recommend, or a referral from their primary care doctor or can they do this on their own? Um, I think we do both. Okay. Um, you know, the, Your front the, desk the would know that. The practice rules <laughs> are beyond me, but right. uh, we're happy to see people with problems. But you are seeing new patients. Of course. Okay. Yes. Um, so they'll come, they'll see you, they'll talk to you, and you'll figure out for them what is the best route 
Correct. We take the patient, their symptoms, their goals of therapy, and match that with the correct therapy, which sometimes is nothing, sometimes is medications, mm -hmm. and sometimes is surgery. Okay, I'm going to spin things just a minute and talk about the hospital, because okay. for you as a physician, does it mean a lot for you as part of your practice to be able to bring the newest thing to your patients? Yes, I mean, I, I'm always trying to sort of push the envelope and bring the newest technology to Memorial and I'm fortunate that they support us in that mm -hmm. and it really helps our, our men in the community. Yeah, so here's where you can get in touch with him, okay? At CHI Memorial Urology Associates on Glenwood. The phone number is 697-0072 and then you can go to the website. The procedure that you might want to ask him about is called aquablasion. Correct. But if you forget it, don't worry about it. He knows it's there and his primary interest is in getting you the best solution for your life. Correct. Great talking to you. Likewise. A personal injury case is like a jigsaw puzzle. If any piece is missing or overlooked, the complete picture cannot be assembled and the truth cannot be revealed. At Wedemark Keith, it's more to us. It's personal. The first ever People's Choice Country Awards. Hosted by Little Big Town with